Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Let's Be Easy and today I'm here with a new video which includes a new topic. Some of students told me that they are facing problem to understand the technique called freeze fracture technique. So here I am to make you understand this topic in a very easy way so that your concepts make crystal clear. But before this, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never missed any updates of my channel. So let's start it. So at first, let me give you a brief introduction about this technique. Freeze fracture technique is also known as freeze fracture electron microscopy technique. It is mainly used to visualize the feature of cell membranes. This technique also used to visualize the distribution of protein within the cell membrane. This technique comprises a few steps. Let's have a quick look in this. So at first, cells are frozen and immobilized at the temperature of liquid nitrogen that means minus 196 degrees celsius in the presence of a cryoprotectant or anti-freezing agent to prevent distortion from ice crystal formation here as an example i am showing the transmembrane protein in lipid bilayer then the frozen specimen is usually fractured with a liquid nitrogen cooled microtome blade which often splits the bilayer into monolayer and exposes the interior of the lipid bilayer and its embedded protein. The monolayer adjacent to the extracellular space is termed as E half. On the other hand, the adjacent to the protoplasm is termed as the p half. Then a replica is made of the fractured surface. It involves two steps shadowing and backing. An oblique unidirectional shadowing is carried out by evaporating a fine layer of heavy metal, such as platinum, onto the specimen. On the other hand, a carbon layer is then deposited on the top of the metal layer to impart sufficient strength to the replica. This process is known as backing. After the replica has been made, the sample is brought to atmospheric pressure and allowed to warm to room temperature. This process is done for the strengthening of the platinum and carbon. In the next step, the biological material is removed from the replica using sodium hypochlorite solution, chromic acid or other cleansing agents. After washing in distilled water, pieces of replica are mounted on grid for experimentation in the transmission electron microscope if you don't know what is transmission electron microscope is then let me know in comment section i will make a video on it too so this was the full technique about freeze fracture electron microscopy hope you understand if you like my video then please like and share with your friends that's all for today. Thank you.